when you start doing really complex things like going into space, it's hard for any one person to do that. So before we had rockets, you can say space exploration was basically looking through big telescopes. Mm -hmm. And there was a... Which was amazing. And people yeah, I mean, claimed and that there was revolutionary. I mean, you could, Mars the bigger, you could, the technology enabled bigger and, and bigger whatever. lenses and yeah. mirrors. And, you know, there was kind of this prestige race among the equivalents of billionaires at the time. You know, these uh, like Yerkes and uh, Keck and some of these other people whose names now grace these telescope, ground-based telescope, Lowell. And they used their money to build these big space, you know, telescopes on the ground to put their name on them. And what they would do generally, they'd like they'd cut the ribbon. They'd say, ha, you know, I'm such a great, you know, person and I've built this thing for the benefit of humanity. And they take off and they never fund anyone to actually look through it. And that's the difference. Right. So you can get sometimes an individual to build a thing. So I think our brains like to focus on a, a physical thing, but the ongoing activity of something is really hard for a person to take a lot of attention to, mm. which is why we built this into the public sphere, right? We, we have funding. It's not just enough to build a mission to Mars. You have to pay scientists to figure out and look at the data, right? Without any data, none of those missions mean anything. Right. The telescope without making sketches of what you yeah, see it a, or yeah, taking, <laughs> taking pictures of what you see. Right, it's, it's like a, the equivalent of a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it. 